Okay, welcome to a short tutorial on some of the file functions you have available in Visual Studio to help you manage uh, files that you may want in multiple projects but may not always be easy to get them. Where you come across this most often is where you have a piece of functionality you need in two projects such as a mobile and a desktop application where you need the same behavior on the mobile or the desktop, but the library you have is very platform specific. So functions like Windows functions or Linux functions in the new.NET that are not easily transferred across to the other platform. But you do have files in there that are shareable. So imagine we have our desktop application and the desktop application has a library attached to it, right? So traditionally you say, okay, I'm going to attach the library. But the mobile application has no access to this library because the mobile application has technologies in it that this cannot pull from, right? So we can't pull this library through into here because it might have file functions, it might have um, device I.O. stuff that, that the mobile application just cannot um, use. And that still exists. But we have a helper class. So let's say we have... Um, the friendly helper. Okay, and we're going to make this a static class. It's going to be an extension method. And public static string says hello world. Okay, uh, this string name. If you haven't seen extension methods before, um, that isn't the scope of this tutorial video. But extension methods allow you to extend a class's behavior. Um, without changing the class. And in here, we're just going to simply return um, name says hello world. Okay. Now, this is in our desktop library. Our mobile application needs to say John says hello world. Right. And our desktop application wants to say um, Fred dot says hello world. Okay, now says hello world there was accessible because the, the desktop library is available to us. But our mobile application wants the same functionality, but we can't import this desktop library. So one option we have is not the best. We can say, okay, well, we want this class, so we're going to right click, copy, and paste. Okay, now we go in here. And, oh, we've got our namespace wrong, so we'll call this the mobile application, okay? And then this should work, because it's in the same namespace, that's fine. Both our applications would now function. But now we need to add some functionality. So we come along here, uh, says goodbye. This string name. Extension methods do also work as a way of providing some readability to simple snippets of code. Um, you know, in this case, we're hard coding the string hello world, but you can call it from anywhere else, and they all change at once. Right? Okay, so now we have says goodbye, and we can say, okay, well, Fred dot says goodbye. And we come here and we say, okay, John says goodbye. So let's add John. That's, oh. Okay, so now we have a maintenance problem because we've got a friendly helper here has more methods than here, but we need the functionality. So, okay, you gotta remember to do this. There we go, it works. But hopefully you can already see the maintenance nightmare that, that creates. Every time we add a feature in one library file, we have to go and copy and paste it into the others. If somebody forgets in our development process to do something and we want a feature available, oftentimes what will happen is a developer will recreate that method. And that could end up with different behavior, different actions, all manner of different things can happen. So when we know that they always should be consistent, and that if we change one, everything should change. How do we fix that problem? When we can't share that library, 
right? In this simple application, yes, we can right click, we can say add reference and add desktop library to mobile application, everything's fine. But we can't always do that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna delete friendly helper from here. Okay, so now there was error. And we're gonna right click, and we're gonna say add existing item. Then we're gonna navigate up to our directory and find our desktop library application. And in here, it's gonna try and offer us CS files. So we click on friendly helper. We don't double click, we single click. And you see this add button down here, it has a drop down on it. If we say add, if we click on your drop down, add, add as link. Add will copy the file into our application, which is no different than what we did before with the copy and paste. Add as link. If I click it, friendly helper now appears in here. Okay. But it has desktop library on it, but it has this little icon difference, right? There's a, there's a little uh, blue box on there. And if we import those functions now, everything should still build and compile fine. Okay. But now we want to say um, public static string says the day of the week. This string name return name says it is date time dot day uh, dot now dot day of week. Okay, so we go to our program now, and let's put this in between. So John dot says, oh, it's already there. Let's go here, it's there. If I double click this file, it's there. It's the same file. This is a link to that actual file, um, a symbolic link, it or however it's done underneath Visual Studio for many versions has allowed us to do this linking so that we don't have to pull a full library through, but we can still have that functionality and only change it in one place. Obviously we have some namespacing issues, but the benefits outweigh the problems there, in my opinion. So that's just one way of doing that. Another need might be resources. If we have the same icons used in our desktop application and our mobile application, then it, it would be nice to be able to say, okay, well, they're the same thing. Visual Studio also supports folders. So we can say add, we can right click, sorry. We can right click, say add, new solution folder. Um, and my example here is gonna be a little drawn out just for the sake of showing this, but we have a text file and let's say this is enus.txt, right? And it's some form of resource file. So this is name, um, button one, description, this button does things, right? Let's say this is a resource file we have and we're gonna pull this through and we need it to be consistent across all the applications. Obviously button one wouldn't exist in both applications, but you get the idea. Now we need to include that file in both pieces. We can do the same thing. We can right click here, we can add existing item. Now resource files, um, what's gonna happen is it's not going to default to that extension, so I'm going to say all files. And when I create this folder in Visual Studio, it's only in Visual Studio. It doesn't actually create a resources folder here. So you would have to break that down a little bit and add uh, a folder structure if you wanted to keep it tidy. But we can click here, single click again, and go here and add as link. And then on our mobile application, we can say add existing item, go back up to our root directory, change our file filter, then we hit ENUS. Now you see I copied it there by accident. I double clicked it and I shouldn't have done. So let's do, um, we're gonna have, I know this is bad JSON, I'm not trying to pretend uh, this is gonna do anything. Button two, 
description, another button. Okay. So we close that file. We open this one, we have another button. We open this one, oh, we only have button one. If we open the folder for our mobile application, you'll see that ENUS is there. If we go up a level and go to our desktop application, ENUS is not here because the project file is maintaining a, a link to that file. It's not really copying that file in here at all. So at the time the application builds, it pulls those resources from there. So what we need to do here is remove this and you can delete it permanently because it is the copy of it. We don't want the copy of it. We want the actual link to the file. So again, existing item, let's change this drop down. We're in our root directory where our resource file is and we can add as link. And now those files are linked. So we can open this one in here and open this one in here. So from a Visual Studio perspective, the, uh, the file is where you expect it to be. It's, it's treated the way it should be, but you're only editing it once. If we go to here, you see it's popping down there. We can remove this text. Let's close that down and open this one. And there we go. We can paste it back in twice. Accident there. Open it there. Open it there. They're the same file. So I can close it down. Open it there. Let's remove that one. Fix that problem. So the file is not being copied out. It's being linked to. And Visual Studio allows us to organize those files in here so we can share them outside of a project. But also we can use the same functionality to share the file in the project. So hopefully if you found this useful, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you very much.